Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome viewers. My name is Stephen Kariungi. We'll continue with the topic of respiration. And uh, we are going to look at the types of respiration in more details. And we shall start with aerobic respiration. So number one of the types of respiration is aerobic respiration. And first thing is that uh, we shall say that this is the type of respiration that occurs in the presence of oxygen. Occurs in the presence of oxygen. Uh, another point about aerobic respiration is that it takes place within the cytoplasm and also within the mitochondrion. So there are two areas takes place within the cytoplasm and mitochondrion. Just to emphasize uh, something there, uh, it is important to understand that uh, we have mitochondria in our body cells. But there are some body cells that have more mitochondria than others. And that means that those body cells, they need more energy or they need to produce more energy as compared to the others. So we'll mention that uh, body cells that contain numerous mitochondria Include, we have uh, kidney cells, we have uh, A, kidney cells, we have sperm cells, we have muscle cells, we have nerve cells. All those cells, they have numerous mitochondria and that tells us that those cells need a lot of energy and that's why they have that adaptation that they have very many mitochondria compared to other body cells. Now, back to the concept of aerobic respiration. Uh, aerobic respiration, we say that uh, it occurs in the presence of oxygen. So I'll take uh, an example an example of one very common food substance, and that is glucose. So glucose, the formula is C6H12O6 as the formula for glucose. We want to see how that glucose is broken down in the presence of oxygen, what we call oxidation. So plus O2, and that gives us uh, carbon 4 oxide, CO2 is the product. There is also water plus energy. And this energy is in form of ATP. We'll explain what is ATP. So basically, uh, we are saying that, uh, just a moment. Uh, we are saying that glucose is broken down in the presence of oxygen to produce carbon four oxide, water, and energy. And this energy is in form of a molecule called ATP. So ATP is adenosine triphosphate. ATP is adenosine triphosphate. So to make sure that the equation is balanced, we'll put a six here. We'll also put a 6 in front of CO2 and a 6 in front of water. So that equation is, uh, is balanced. 
so we can see we have six carbon we have 12 hydrogen also here uh, six oxygen plus this 12 that is 18 this is 12 plus 6 that is 18 so that equation is balanced now uh, we are saying that uh, that equation summarizes it's a summary of aerobic respiration so i can say here that that is the equation for aerobic respiration that's the equation for aerobic respiration now in as much as we are saying that that equation summarizes aerobic respiration uh, aerobic respiration is not just a one step it's not just a one step whereby glucose combines with oxygen to form carbon four oxide water and energy but it has some series of steps so it is important that we shall look at the steps the steps of aerobic respiration or you can say the phases uh, the phases of aerobic respiration so these steps are two the first step we refer to it as glycolysis we refer to it as glycolysis and in this process uh, the glucose is first of all broken down in the absence of oxygen in the absence of oxygen and this takes place in the cytoplasm remember we said that uh, aerobic respiration takes place within the cytoplasm and mitochondrion those two areas so in this case we say that under glycolysis that glucose is broken down into a compound called pyruvic acid pyruvic acid in the absence of oxygen in the absence of oxygen so the first step occurs in the absence of oxygen and we can say that this reaction this reaction takes place in the cytoplasm takes place in the cytoplasm so that is uh, uh, the first step of aerobic respiration which we are referring to as glycolysis we can summarize it in form of an equation so we are saying that uh, glucose is broken down into pyruvic acid and some energy is released but this energy is less less energy is released so not much energy is released and then of course this breakdown occurs in the presence of enzymes it's an enzyme controlled uh, reaction now and again enzymes in the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm then uh, the second step of aerobic respiration after glycolysis we refer to it as the krebs cycle we refer to it as the krebs cycle and now this is the second stage where now the pyruvic acid is broken down further broken down further in the presence of oxygen now in the presence of oxygen to release now more energy so the second step releases more energy so in krebs cycle uh, pyruvic acid is broken down in the presence of oxygen the presence of oxygen to release more energy and we can say that this reaction occurs in the matrix we mentioned the matrix earlier 
in the matrix of the mitochondrion. So those are the, the two steps, glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle occurs in the presence of oxygen and therefore it releases more energy. Uh, this reaction occurs in the matrix of the mitochondrion, glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm. Now, this energy that is released during the Krebs cycle is released in small quantities, is released in small quantities to prevent burning the cells. If a lot of energy is released at a go, yeah, then the cells may get burnt because some of this energy is in form of heat, is in form of heat energy. So we are going to, uh, to stop there. Uh, we have learned about aerobic respiration, which we have said occurs in the presence of oxygen. We've also said that it occurs both in the cytoplasm and in the mitochondrion. We have also learned that we have some particular body cells that have more mitochondria than others. And that means they need more energy or they need to produce more energy. For example, the kidney cells, the sperm cells, the muscle cells, and the nerve cells. They are very active cells in our bodies. Uh, we have also seen the equation for aerobic respiration, whereby glucose is broken down in the presence of oxygen to form carbon four oxide, water, and energy. So that summarizes the aerobic respiration. Then we have said, uh, in as much as we have summarized it here as one equation, it occurs in steps. There are two steps that are involved, and the first step is glycolysis, whereby glucose is first of all broken down into pyruvic acid in the absence of oxygen, and there re that reaction uh, occurs in the cytoplasm. Then the second step, uh, we refer to it as the Krebs cycle, whereby the pyruvic acid produced in the first step is further broken down uh, to release more energy. And this occurs in the matrix of the mitochondrion. So we're going to stop there. And we are going to have now the assignment for the day. <coughs> The first question, state and explain. State and explain the two phases of aerobic respiration. So the question is state and explain, not just to state, to state and explain the two phases of aerobic respiration. Number two, write a summary equation. Write a balanced equation to summarize to summarize respiration. And number three, name four types of cells that contain numerous mitochondria. four types of cells that contain uh, numerous mitochondria. So we are going to stop there for today. See you next time.